I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on probability. I am going to take an excellent question which is based on Bayes' theorem. We will try to figure out from where the defect came. Right? That's the whole idea. Let's go through the question and understand the concept. In a bold factory, machine A, B and C manufacture 25%, 35% and 40% respectively of the total bolts. Of their outputs, 5%, 4% and 2% are respectively defective bolts. A bolt is drawn at random from the product. If the bolt drawn is found defective, what is the probability that it is manufactured by the machine A or C? So that's the question for you, right? So what you notice here is that we are given a sample space. Let me sketch it here. So we are given a sample space, kind of like this, where the bolts are being manufactured. And this is being done in uh, one of the three units, right? So, so these are the units which are labeled as A, B, and C. So as far as the production is concerned, it's given that 25%, 35%, and 40%. So this is 25% of the whole production. And this one is 35%. And the last one, C, gives you 40%. That makes it all 100% bolts. So in our sample space, everything is coming from these three units. Now what really happens here is that in the output, we have some defects. Okay, so let's look for the, the output. So, so the output, most of it is okay, but there are some defects. So these are the defects. So let's say defects. And the percentage of defects produced by each machine is given as, from the first it is 5%, from the second it is 4%, and from the third it is 2%. Now the question is, if the bolt is drawn, if the bolt drawn is found defective, that means one of these has been drawn, what is the probability that it is manufactured by machine A or C? So we, are, we have drawn something and we want to find the probability that it came from either one of these two, not from B. So some of you could also work probability from B and then complement, right? That will also give you the right answer. But that is the scenario. So whenever we have a sample space which has been divided into parts, none of them is overlapping. Do you see that? None of them is overlapping. And we need to figure out from where the defect came, exactly the situation we are working with, we can use Bayes' theorem. So this is an ideal candidate for Bayes' theorem. Perfect. So in this, we work in two parts. First is, what is the probability that was manufactured in A, B, or C? So that is the probability, right? So what we are given here is that probability that's manufactured in A is 25%, which is 0 0.25, correct? Probability it was manufactured in B is 0.35% and the probability that the bolt, whichever you pick, is manufactured in C is actually 40%, right? Now, now the case is that if we pick a defective bolt, then what is the probability that it was manufactured in A, right? That is what we're looking for. So, so we say, what is the what is the probability that the defective, let's call this as D, right? Defective as D. So that defective bow came from A. So that is what we are interested in finding, correct? So what is the probability that it came from A that is given? If it comes from A, the probability is 5%. So this is 0 0.05. Probability that a defect comes from B is 4%, that means 0 0.04, and the probability that the defects come from C is 2%, which is 0 
Correct? Now, whatever may be the case, the total defect which goes into the denominator is sum of all this. Right? That is product of all this. Correct? So, if you have to find that the probability that the that the defect came from A or from B, right? So, we have now a condition that the defect is coming from uh, that this bolt which we have found is manufactured in in A or in C. That's what we need to find. So, so we have to see whether this defective piece, whichever we are calling as D, has been manufactured in A or it is manufactured in C. So we say A, it came from A. What came from A? The defect, right? Or the probability that this defect came from C. That is what we need to figure out. Correct? So that means using the Bayes theorem, we could multiply these probabilities, keep them in the numerator and all the sum in the denominator. So it is like this. So it will be this times this. So which is 0 0.25 times 0 0.05 plus C is 0 0.40 times 0 0.02 divided by some of these products, right? Because the defect could only come from A, B, or C, right? So it'd be, let me use more space here. So it's 0 0.25 times 0 0.05 plus 0 0.35 times 0 0.04 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.02, correct? So that is what it is. We need the calculator to calculate this answer. So the numerator is 0 0.25 times 0 0.05 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.02, right? So that is the numerator, which is 41 times 2,000. And the denominator will be, uh, we are going to, we have already multiplied these. We are going to add, we are going to, add uh, 0.4 or let's do this let's divide all this answer by by everything so so i'll do this calculation again so which is 0.25 times 0 0.05 plus 0.35 times 0 0.04 plus 0.4 times 0 0.02 so i did all the denominator together to give you the answer and that is equal to 41 over 69. So I got it direct. So I did 41 over 69. Right. So that is how you're going to use your calculator to find this answer. Right. So, so the required probability is 41 over 69. If you want to write it in percent, then multiply by 100 and write the decimal value of 59.4% or 59.4%, correct? So that is how you could solve all these questions. So once you understand which particular formula is to be applied, it is very simple. So whenever you're trying to find the source of what you have picked, then Bayes' theorem is probably the most powerful case to take. I hope that helps. Feel free to share your comments and your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.